we got our dinosaur friends here. I'm gonna rack focus on these dinosaurs. We got a far at the, the front Triceratops, we got a green Tyrannosaurus, and I think at the back is some sort of Brachiobrontosaurus. And uh, they are all here because we're gonna use this peanut butter cup to focus on all three of these dinosaurs at once. And I know that sounds kind of weird. Let's see what we can do and what I mean by it. Uh, first, I'm gonna take a look at this wrapper and look for little tiny holes in it and uh, make a smaller section of it like I'm doing here. And this is bent in so many places, this foil, it forms little natural pinholes on its own. So basically you can just take one right out of a package and press it right up to your smartphone, like I'm doing here. And you might have to finagle it a little bit, but eventually your lens will see through the built-in pinhole in that candy wrapper foil. That's what you're looking at right now. And now we can focus, <laughs> focus is in air quotes, on all three dinosaurs at once. One is not in focus more than the other. So that's kind of fun. Here's what it looked like originally, as you may recall. Here we go. Here it is with our peanut butter cup pinhole. So we got before, after, before, after. That's fun. So we can do it, and that's the cool thing. Let's try a small pinhole that I've poked with a needle into some poster board. This is, I'm guessing, about a one millimeter pinhole. I don't know. It's pretty unscientific, frankly. Uh, we're just going to do the same thing. Press it right up against the smartphone lens and keep looking at our subjects. And now we got, you know, I can see the Triceratops a bit more. Well, let's, let's wait and watch. Let's reserve judgment. Okay, so here it is without the pinhole. Here it is with the pinhole. And let's run them back and forth. Here we go. Regular, non, regular, non. Cool. Let's load up a 0.35 millimeter pinhole. So that's a smaller pinhole on the camera now than the one we just saw. And just let the world pass us by for a bit. Everyone's going to get some good coffee this morning at the coffee shop I'm at. And here it is before and after. So now we got, you can see with the pinhole, I see a pretty good amount of sharpness on the Triceratops and the, the purple and the green and the blue, I see sharpness across all three of them. So they're all kind of more in focus than if the pinhole wasn't in front of the lens. Let's try 0.25 millimeter. All right, so the pinhole is getting smaller. As we go further on in this video, the pinholes are going to get smaller for a bit. And I'm trying to get it just right on the, the smartphone lens, and it's not easy to do. I mean, it is. Once you get it just right, you can secure it, but I'm taking these on and off rapidly, so it makes it a little tricky to get it just right. Now we got back and forth, 0.25 millimeter, regular, yeah. Do some quick flipping between them. All right, let's try 0.1 millimeter. So even smaller than the last one. All right, 0.1 millimeter. Hmm, it's different than the last one by, by quite a bit. It's fun to see the differences in quick succession. That's actually the reason I'm making this video, just to figure it out for myself. Now this is 0.5, 0 0.05 millimeters. So that's half again as small as the one we just put on there, or maybe even less than half. I'm not good with every kind of number. Here we go, comparison. I like that big bright point in the middle, that's pretty. I think that's uh, sunlight reflecting off something shiny. Maybe it looks like the truck's front fender or something chrome. You also see kind of the cool circular patterns in the lens. That's neat. So now we got another one. Let's take a chocolate wrapped kiss and let's see if we can make a pinhole out of it. Same way if we did the peanut butter cup where we just take the paper or we take the foil and we're just gonna look through it for a pre-existing crack in the foil and put that right up to the camera. And we'll see what results we get. I'm seeing something. There's my Tricero friend and Rexy and a Brachiobronto soar. Yay! Hi, kids. And there it is without. Oh, here we go. This is candies that come on a roll. 
Oh. Now we're just going to take the wrapper off. We'll get rid of that. All right, and I'm going to put that right up and over. Okay. I'm seeing all our dino friends again. They're not... Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and say I don't think they're very sharp. This is something that is what you would use if you needed a pinhole really quickly for some reason. I don't know what emergency this is that requires a pinhole, but maybe there is one. You know, the more you have a tool, the more you can start to see situations that use that tool. So maybe knowing how to fashion a pinhole rapidly is a useful tool. And here's the rack focus again on our dinosaur friends. Altogether, they were the, the blue dinosaur is maybe two feet away from the camera. And the, the Triceratops is the purple one. Purple magenta is maybe an inch away. And now we're just running through all the, the pinhole sizes. We'll do them quick and back and forward, and you can see them all. And this is a video, so obviously you can rewind and watch and you know see which one of the images you liked best. I'm going to run them all real quick here so we can kind of see it. You know, moving back and forth. We'll start at the, the point or the one millimeter and go to the zero and then back again. Whew. Unique. All right. Well, I had fun. Oh, wait, that's right. We got, I did this. So here we go. We got Obi-Wan Kenobi and Obi-Wan Kenobi. And we're going to see what they look like through this uh, 0.35 millimeter pinhole disc. I'm just going to put it right up to the lens. It's the same way we're doing the other ones. I just, I forgot that. I'd put these guys on the table at the end of this video. And, you know, it's not perfect, but there we go. Okay. What's up, old Ben? How's old Ben? I don't know. Uh, I think it's pretty cool that we can focus so close on something that ordinarily the lens couldn't focus on. Where the, the background Ben is on the right, that's as close as the, this iPhone 6S Plus can focus with no pinhole in front of it. So that's pretty cool. Thanks, guys. See ya.